welcome to this week's short in which we'll talk about the Chevalier de Lorraine. Philippe de Lorraine, known as the Chevalier de Lorraine, was born in 1643. He was the son of Henri de Lorraine, Count of Harcourt, and Marguerite Philippe du Cambou. Philippe was a French nobleman and member of the House of Guise. Philippe was said to be extremely handsome, but devoid of any sense of morality. He was with Philippe d'Orléans, starting from 1665, and lived with Monsieur in Paris at the Palais Royal. Because of his status, he had frequent quarrels with the wives of Monsieur, Henrietta and Stuart of England, and Elisabeth Charlotte of the Palatinate. He schemed as much as possible against both wives in order to sow animosity in the marriages and to prevent Monsieur from trusting his wives. Exiled to Rome at the request of Monsieur's first wife, Henrietta Anne, the Chevalier was suspected of having her poisoned upon her death in 1670 with the help of another one of Monsieur's friends, the Marquis de Fia. When Louis XIV required Monsieur to remarry Elisabeth Charlotte of the Palatinate, Monsieur only consented to doing so in exchange for the return of the Chevalier to court. It seems that the Duc d'Orléans was really in love with the Chevalier de Lorraine, but one must wonder if the sentiment was reciprocated, as Philippe was undoubtedly manipulated by the Chevalier throughout their relationship. Aside from his relationships with men, it is known that the Chevalier had encounters with several women, including Mademoiselle de Fienne, who had a child by him, as well as the Princess of Monaco. According to the memoirs of the Duc de Saint-Simon, the Chevalier would have secretly married his cousin, Béatrice Hieronyme de Lorraine, who was also known as Mademoiselle de Lillebonne. As the Chevalier de Lorraine became older, he remained in the graces of the Duc d'Orléans by providing Monsieur with young and eager lovers. Age slightly calmed the Chevalier. He reconciled with La Palatine shortly before Monsieur's death. However, at the end of his life, Philippe de Lorraine had lost most of the furniture in his apartment at the Palais Royal and in his country residence, and all the money he had obtained from the coffers of the state by gambling and by exploitation of his lovers. Philippe de Lorraine died of a stroke on December 7, 1702. The location of his tomb is unknown. This concludes this week's short. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next Saturday for a new video. See you then.